Hi, my name's David. I'm here to show you how to create and assemble bill of materials in Descara Books. First, we're going to go to Products. And we're going to click New Product. Inside here, you can select the type of product. So we're going to select Bill of Materials. We can input the name. We can input the description. If you have a barcode, you can input a barcode. You can also select the product's running number, and you also can select custom number format. Next, let's go to accounting. Inside here, you can select your purchase account, sales account, your sales tax, your sales return account, purchase return account. You can input the purchase price, and you can input the sales price. Next, let's go to inventory. Inside here, you can select the unit of measurement. You can select the cost of goods sold account, inventory account, stock adjustment account, and you can select the manufacturing account. You can also enable advanced tracking. So is it batch tracked or serial number? Let's select serial number. You can enter the opening quantity and the opening valuation, and you can select the default warehouse. After that, you can go to bill of material, and you can start inputting the components. So for example, we're gonna select a laptop. That's our serial product. Battery, which is our batch product. And mouse, our normal track product. I can also add additional cost. And I can input the amount. Then I can save it. Now it says here, you've enabled serial tracking. You will need to add the tracking number in order to fulfill orders. You can go here and then you can select it. Now if you have openings or any quantity that's not assigned to a serial number, you can click here and then input it. But we have no opening, so this should be blank. I'm assigned quantity zero. And you can see our bill of materials has been created. Now let's go assemble our bill of material. We can do that by clicking this icon here. Inside here, I can see the finished good name, build date, finished good code, total available quantity, which currently is zero, quantity to build, so let's build two, and cost per unit. And we can also enter a memo here. If you want to add in a custom field, you can click here, add custom field, and create it. We can also see our components listed below. Now let's click next. Inside here, you can see our different components, such as our laptop, which is our serial product, battery, which is our batch product, and mouse, which is our track product. You can see the product code, the required quantity, total quantity that we have, the shortfall, if there's anything that we need to stock up or buy more in order to do this build, units, pieces, units, the UOM, cost per unit, actual quantity used, and quick action. On quick action, it allows us to allocate the stock for this build. So let's click it. Inside here I can click auto allocate. I can choose the warehouse. Is it Jurong or primary? I can choose which one. I can select the serial numbers and then I can click allocate and now they're allocated. Now I can select the serial numbers and click save and now they've been allocated to this build. Next let's go to battery and click allocate. Inside here I can select the warehouse, primary or Jurong. I can select the batch, I can see the available quantity, and I can input the quantity that I want to use. So for example, two. I also have the auto allocate button up here, and I can save. Now I can click here to allocate the stock for my track product. Again, I can select the warehouse, enter the quantity, and save. Then I can click next. So inside here I can see the sequence number, I can click here, I can manually input, change it to a custom number format, finish good name, finish good code, build date, quantity that's going to be built, total available quantity after production, total cost of the build, and cost per unit. And now I can select which warehouse I want to select, for example, Jurong. So this will be sent to Jurong. And I can click here to assign the serial number. For example, BOM. S001.
to, and I can click Assign. And now they've been assigned, and I can click Done, and then I can click Save and Close. And now my bill of materials have been assembled. Next, let's create a new product. All right, so this time when we create the bill of material, we're going to have it batch manage. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to click on bill of material, put in a name. Put in a description. We're going to go directly to inventory, change the unit of measurement. We're going to enable advanced tracking, and this time we're going to have it under batch managed. Now under bill of materials, we're just going to add in the same components we did last time. So laptop, battery, mouse. And then we're going to save it. Now we can see our batch track bill of material. Let's click on the build assembly. Let's input the quantity. Input any memo. Now let's go allocate the stock. And I'm just going to click auto allocate. Click next. Everything looks good. Let's select the warehouse. Let's go assign the batch number. Manufacturing date. Going to build. Done. And let's save and close. Now we've assembled our batch managed bill of materials. Next, let's go click on new product. And this time, let's create a bill of materials that is not batch managed or serial managed. Now, just like last time, we're just going to click on type and select bill of materials. We're going to input the name, description, and under inventory, we're going to update the unit of measurement. And this time, we're not going to enable advanced tracking. Next, we're going to click on bill of materials. And we're going to input the components. We're also going to click add additional cost. And we're going to save. And we're going to assemble again. I'm going to put in the build quantity for example, put in a memo. Then I'm going to click next. I'm going to go click on allocate and I'm just going to auto allocate for all three. Next, I'm going to just select the warehouse and you can see I don't have to assign any serial or batch number as this is just tracked. Then I can click save and close. And now I've assembled my track bill of materials. Next, we're going to create a bill of material, but this time its components are not going to be batch tracked or serial tracked. They're just going to be tracked products. So let's click on new product. Let's put in the name. Let's select the type. Let's input the description. Let's go to inventory. Let's select the unit of measurement. Now let's select the components. And let's save. So let's go here and assemble it. Let's input the quantity. Input any memo. Click next. And inside here it says pick all the components from the same warehouse or allocate the components individually. So if I click allocate the components individually, I'll have to select each one. If I say pick all the components from the same warehouse, I just select the warehouse here. So for example, if I click on Jurong, 
there's no shortfall. If I click on primary warehouse, you can see the shortfall here. Now let's click next. I select the warehouse I want it sent to, and I can save it. Let's create one more bill of material, but this time I want to show you what happens if there's not enough stock available to assemble it. So again, we select the type, bill of materials, we input the name. Then we can go to inventory, we can select the UOM and select the bill of material. After that we can save. And let's click assemble. Inside here we can enter the quantity to be built. Then we can click next. So you can see here it says this quantity should not exceed the maximum quantity that can be built. And if you go down here, you can see quantity to build cannot exceed the quantity you can build. Do you want to create a back order? So it more or less says I don't have enough quantity. So I can click here to create a back order. Then of course I can add in my contact. I can see the quantity here that I need. Put in the unit price. Make sure everything looks good. Save and close. After that, once I receive the goods, I can go back to my product. Click here to assemble. And now you can see I have enough quantity. Then of course you can go next. You can select the warehouse. Next. Select the warehouse, save and close. And that was a quick look at how to create a bill of materials and assemble it into Scarab Books.